Hey folks. <clears throat> Hope everybody's doing all right. Survived the insanity of yesterday. <clears throat> I'm having some jackknife plug. And I thought we'd do another round of trivia. So quick reminder. Don't put your answers in the comments. Just put the number correct that you got. And then brag if appropriate. Grovel if appropriate. Admire John Walker's trivia genius from yesterday. And, oops, wrong button. Let's get started, shall we? Man, this <clears throat> refreshing. All right, there we go. Hmm. Question number one. Not in my wheelhouse. <clears throat> what Broadway musical featured the song Buenos Aires? Pause if you need to, because I'm about to tell you my answer. Now that you're back, <clears throat> I'm going to say Evita. Hey, one for one. We're off to a good start here. <laughs> what process emulsifies the fat in milk? What process emulsifies the fat? in milk. That's your answer? Because here comes mine. The only process associated with milk that I know is homogenation. Homogeniz homogenization. There we go. Same thing. Two for two for me. How are you doing? What imports from Baja California Beach made Gary Drawl a millionaire in 1975? What imports from a Baja California Beach made Gary Drawl a millionaire in 1975? Well, <clears throat> my answer, <clears throat> and give yourself leeway with this one because I'm not sure which part of this uh, process the imports come from. or you'll, you'll understand when I give my answer. I'm going to say either silica or silicone. I think probably silica. Of course, it was Pet Rocks. I should have recognized that name. <clears throat> I remember it now. Pet Rocks. Did you have one? I had one. I don't recall what I named it. Probably something stupid like Rocky. Number four. Mork and Mindy was a spinoff of what TV show? Mork and Mindy <clears throat> was a spinoff of what TV show? Nanu, nanu. My answer is happy days. Happy days. Mork visited Richie. That's uh, three out of four for me, I think. Yep, yeah, three out of four. Number five. What items of equipment are made by a Fletcher? What items of equipment, some weird wording, what does a Fletcher make?
Got your answer. The answer is arrows. Arrows. Four for five. How are you doing? In what Caribbean or Caribbean, if you're so inclined, country did steel drums originate? In what Caribbean country did steel drums originate? Hmm. Three possible answers rolling around my head. Got yours? I'm going to go with Jamaica. <clears throat> the other two answers I had were Bahamas and Bermuda. Trinidad and Tobago. Right there. So close yet wrong. Four for six. What Beatles song begins with the opening fanfare from the French national anthem? What Beatles song begins with the fanfare? What what Beatles song begins with the opening fanfare from the French national anthem? Any Beatles fans out there? My answer. Bum 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 bum. Love, love, love. All you need is love. There you go. <clears throat> Five for six. <laughs> A little math problem for you. No pencils, okay? Don't use any pencils on this. What number is a thousand? thousands what number is a thousand thousands hopefully you got this <clears throat> and hopefully I get it <clears throat> one thousand thousands is one million a million that's a lot of numbers try counting them six out of seven <laughs> In the early 60s, I did not know this. In the early 60s, Marvin Gaye worked as a session drummer for which band? In the early 60s, Marvin Gaye worked as a session drummer for which band? Hmm. I don't know. <clears throat> the obvious answer for me is the Supremes. Ah. Martha and the Vandellas. Six for eight. Excuse me. Which, what famous performer's real name was William Claude Duncanfield? What performer's real name was William Claude Duncanfield? I'm not sure that I knew this, but my answer, just from looking at that, has got to be W.C. Fields. Focus. Focus. It is W.C. Fields. That's seven out of nine, I believe. Let me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, that was ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That was indeed ten. I got eight out of ten. Eight, eighty percent. That's pretty good for me, I think. That was a that was a somewhat easier set of questions, so it's possible.
possible somebody's going to get that pet rocks one. <clears throat> it's possible somebody goes 10 for 10 in this one. I would be mighty impressed. So put your score down in the comments. Let everybody know how you did. I'm quite happy with eight. We shall see if it holds up. All right. I'm going to go enjoy my pipe and ignore the hype. Join me, shall you? Will you? Would you? Won't you be my neighbor? <laughs>